Amigos de Lucha Libre Online, ¿cómo están? Yo soy Jorge Cervera y vean nada más con la luchadora que me encuentro en esta ocasión. En una anterior entrevista que yo le hice, se hizo llamar como la mejor luchadora en la actualidad. Y ella ha estado en el Consejo Mundial de Lucha Libre, eh, ganó un gran trofeo dentro de esa empresa junto con Dallas, nada más y nada menos que Lady Frost. Lady Frost, thank you so much for this time to make this interview. Absolutely, thanks for talking with me again. Well, actually, it's the second interview, and I want to talk about the first interview because you say there was on Cartagena, California, if I remember. Yeah. Yeah. You say in that moment you are the best female wrestler on the industry. You still saying that because after that you go to the Consejo Mundial again, and you won a tournament with Dali. So I say, oh my God, Lady Frost. That's not light. It's one of the. I told you. One of the best <laughs> I told you. That was a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, it was a spoiler actually. So how you feel? Um, how you feel that day? You won that tournament. Was amazing and actually was a dream team, a tag team of the dream. You go with Dallas and you won that tournament. So congratulations and how you feel to be on Arena Mexico and finally got your moment to to win. Thank you. Yeah, I said going in. You know, we weren't a real tag team, but. I think she was the best competitor, as was I, but she had won the Women's Grand Prix, so there was no one better to tag with. Um, I knew going in, we had the best chance, and we worked well together, um, and we just showcased exactly who we were as, as wrestlers and competitors, so I felt honored to even be considered to be in the tournament, and of course, I told you, I am one of the best in the world, and that's why we came out victorious. Excellent. And... Well, you are one of the greatest female wrestlers on the industry right now. So in your experience, in all the time you have of career, how you feel the change? Because like on 2015, the WWE Divas doesn't exist because it goes to be women's wrestlers. So yeah. how do you feel in the industry to be a woman and have a one of the best plays on the car match all the time. So how do you feel to be in that place? And how do you see the women's industry across the years you be of career? I think we can't discount the divas or anything that the women did up into, until this point, right? They were only allowed to do so much. Um, creative process is something that we don't always have control over, but I think the women have slowly taken that that power back for themselves and showcase that we want to be looked at as equals, as wrestlers, as performers, as athletes. And I think that we're doing that. We're doing a great job of showing the world that we we belong in this industry um, as top competitors, as main eventers, because there are some very, very, very gifted, talented females, um, you know, all over the world, especially in Mexico, but now on television, we're getting prominently featured and I'm happy to be a part of this this new wave of women that are earning these top spots. Yeah, so congratulations for that. And as you can see, I'm a huge fan of the Mexican wrestling, well, all the, the wrestling industry. And in that moment of your career, you've met some wrestler to say, oh my God, I can't believe I'm here with him. You, you <laughs> feel that someday? And with which wrestler happened that? Or you never feel yet on your career? Um, I think, well, my very first match on television with Asuka, I felt that, <laughs> but nothing could have prepared me for that. Um, but no, I think I've been prepared for every match, so I haven't been, you know, in shock. Oh my gosh, I think that I've deserved to be in the arenas that I've been in. Um, it's always an honor and a privilege, obviously, to step in there with anyone that has more time and more stature than than me. They've accomplished more than I have, but um, I think that I prepare so that I don't feel that way, that I feel like I'm an equal and deserve to be there. Excellent. And I want to know what is the feeling to be one day on a little arena, like for 500 people, and the other day be in the Arena Mexico with thousands and thousands of fans with the crowd. Is the same feeling? Is the same nervous? Um, how do you feel to to make that like one week on a little show and the other week in the biggest stage 
of all the Lucha Libre. So I think they have very, very different feels and I love them both. I think, you know, a big stage is very much more of a performance. And I think a smaller stage is, is an intimate fan wrestler interaction. And I do love to be up close to fans. Um, you know, you, you get to see the expression on their faces more vividly. You get to interact, maybe even sit next to them. Um, and I think it's, it's a different experience for them enjoying the show. But when you're in a large arena, there's nothing like it. The sound that resonates and echoes, um, you know, it's just, it's a larger than life experience for everyone. Okay. So as you can see, I collect a lot of things. You have some collection or something of when you go to your home. I don't want to see some something of wrestling. I just want to, to be on my bed to rest and go to the gym. Or you have something of Lucha Libre or wrestling industry on your house. So I'm not a collector. No, I don't. I don't have anything that I collect. <laughs> yeah. So anything like non-resting other thing? No. Is that no? No, I've I've owned so many homes and moved so many times. I try to get rid of as much as possible. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So I don't. I don't have a whole whole lot. I mean, pillows maybe. I have a lot of these. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everywhere. Okay. Well, I, I understand that. So in this moment of your career, how you can compare in the moment you begin, what things you you learn and in the time, what you can recommend to a female, a woman who want to be on the industry, how you can recommend to all the women to want to be in the industry, want to be a female wrestler or a referee, ring announcer, what you can say to all that girls want to be in this industry? Well, it's a very tough industry, that's for sure. Um, a lot of traveling, uh, a lot of hardships. Physically, of course, you're breaking your body down. But I think it's important to stand your ground and stand up for what you want and love and believe in. It's very easy to get caught up in what everyone else thinks you should be or where you should be or what time frame. Um, you know, if you have a character that you really love, I think you know, dive into what's important to you, take advice from everyone. That doesn't mean you have to keep that advice from everyone, but the people that you trust, obviously, um, it's very important to, you know, to take that advice from people that have been there before you, but also to do it your own way. You're, you're allowed to be unique and individual and stand up for what you personally believe in and, and the legacy that you want to leave behind for the women after you. Excellent. That is a great word. So, all the girls want to be on in the industry. Eh? This is uh, one of the biggest on in the industry right now. So learn about him. And well, to begin the, the last of this interview, how you feel to be in the Arena Mexico? Because I talk a lot of wrestlers and say, I'm not nervous, I'm not nervous, but I think, well, you have to feel nervous. It's the biggest stage, in my opinion, in the Lucha Libre. And the first time you be on Mexico, I don't remember, and tell me if I'm not correct, you be on a car match full of women wrestlers. I think that was something I said, oh my God, finally the women's got her moment. So how you, how you feel yeah. to be there? And after that, you go to the Grand Prix, go in the second place, and all the people say, no, we want Lady Frost again. And I saw the comments of the people on Facebook and Instagram, all the people say, we want Lady Frost again. And you go again with Dallas making tag team. So what is your experience in Mexico? And I think it's one of the biggest experience you have in the industry. Mm -hmm. So I did participate in the very first all women's card, all women's show in Mexico. And that's an incredible feeling. That's an honor that lets us know how far we've come, how much progress we've made. And like I said earlier, that's, it's so great to be, a part of that now to be able to pass that forward, you know, so that it's a normal thing, not just like a novelty. Um, I think wrestling in Arena Mexico obviously is, it can be intimidating, but it's not. I think you're the kind of person that that gets nervous, but if you have to level up, you have to go and, and be able to overcome those emotions. And I was more filled with excitement and, and joy than nervousness, right? It was, I'm going to go and show everyone who I am. And I think the fans were very responsive. I see your comments. I love it. I think fan support is 
the driving factor in a lot of our success personally as wrestlers. So when you make those comments and demands and you want to see me back, it goes a long way. Um, they did invite me back. And, and yes, I had a team with someone that I had been feuding with, uh, but it worked out for us. And, you know, like I said, I feel like the fans were a huge part of my success there. So thank you to them. And obviously CMLL for having me, um, you know, you never know when you're going to see me again. <laughs> Actually, that is a, that is a good, good question. I want to, I want to do to you because all the fans want to see you again. But now Dallas is in other company. It's not on CMLL. I, I know it's one, it's something weird to, to see her in other company, but that's okay. Yeah. So you are looking for something specific right now on your career, or are you going to wait the opportunities come, the opportunity for titles, opportunity for mask of the female wrestlers is going to come, or you are looking for something specific right now to go on your career? I think it was a shock for everyone uh, that she's now with a different company, but I believe in going where you are happiest or what makes most sense for you and your family. So obviously her and her husband have, you know, whatever reasons to be somewhere else. And I support that decision. Um, you know, I, I don't know a lot about it, but for me, I, I don't want to jump too fast at any opportunities because I think, Choosing the right place to be is very important, especially at this point in my career. Um, I'm not going to say I have one motivating factor other than I just, I want to make sure it's a good fit. So regardless of where that is, um, I want to be appreciated. I want the fans to be happy. I want to be happy um, and do my best work. Excellent, Lady Frost. Well, so thank you so much for this time to make this interview. Something you want to say to all the fans of Lucha Libre Online, something announcement and advice, whatever you want to say, this is your moment, Lady Frost. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for supporting me from the very beginning. The first day that I stepped foot in Mexico, you guys were nothing but generous. And I really appreciate your support and comments and, and videos on Instagram and Facebook and, and Twitter. I see them. I appreciate you. I cannot wait to see you again. Oh, thank you so much. I hope to see you again soon in some resting show. So thank you so much again for the time of this interview. Y gente de Lucha Libre Online, muchísimas gracias por haber visto esta entrevista. Yo soy Jorge Cervera, mi gran invitada Lady Frost aquí. Me pueden seguir en Instagram como Jorge Cervera MX y a ella como Real Lady Frost, right? Rather on Instagram, Real Lady, Real Lady Frost, yep. Yeah. yeah, perfect. So thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias por haber visto esta entrevista. Les mando un saludo. Bye.